Hello. The heating is off in our building, so hence the hood. And um, great time for me to work on this blanket that I have started working on. And I'm using um, scrap yarn and leftover yarn um, to make it. So this is my bin of leftover yarn. As you can see, there's also, there's this is kind of where I throw yarn, but I don't know what I want to do with it sometimes. So like this was something that someone gave to me and I don't know what to do with it. Uh, but mostly this is where these uh, small balls of yarn end up. And then my scrap yarn is, I keep it in, in jars. So this is uh, usually like little bits. Sometimes there's longer bits in here, uh, but some of this I'll use uh, for stuffing. Um, or to use uh, the longer strands, I'll use them in, um, in actual projects. So for example, in this, in this blanket that I'm working on, um, I'll be joining the leftover yarn and the scrap yarn pieces together to make one full ball of, of yarn to use to make a blanket. To be clear, my own definition of scrap yarn is a strand of yarn that I can wrap around my hand at most 20 times, whereas leftover yarn is literally a small ball of yarn that is left over from a much larger ball of yarn. So this to me is a uh, scrap yarn, and then this is leftover yarn. See the difference? So here is what all the yarn turned into and what it looks like after I've joined every strand and used my yarn winder to put it all together. I thought I had footage of me winding the yarn, um, but I guess I must have lost it. Um, it was really nice to see though, all the different colors coming together and I really, I love how these uh, cakes of yarn turned out. They're just beautifully colored and um, I'm really loving how this blanket is turning out so far. So this is what the blanket is looking like so far. I am seriously loving some of these color combinations. Some of them um, not too crazy about, but oh my god, for example, I really love this, this like blue and really, really hot pink against this navy. Um, it's just, I love that, that combination. Um, this over here, I'm, I'm not, I don't, I'm not crazy about that, but it, it, it's all part, it's all part of the blanket. So I have, uh, I started out with, I think it was three um, cakes of yarn that I put together. Uh, this is the second or third one, maybe I had four, I forget now, um, and then I have this last one. And so after that, that's all I've got for the yarn, so I'll keep working on that and we'll see how it turns out.
the blanket is done. Doesn't it look so colorful? I am super happy with how this looks. I love all the different colors in it. It's, um, it really brightens up most days, like, especially in the winter when it's gloomy and gray. I pull this out and put it on my lap because it gets really cold by my desk. I'm right next to the window. I love it. I love it. I can't wait to make another one of these or at least um, make something where I'm using scrap yarn and it's all been joined the way that I did for this blanket. I think that would add um, a really nice uh, touch to like a, a skirt or a dress um, or pillows or something where uh, each each, it's almost like each stitch is going to be, not every stitch, but it seems like you're you're not going to know what this looks like until until it's done, which I really love. It's like a nice little surprise gift to yourself at the end. Really in love with this blanket. So if you make this uh, blanket or something similar to this, um, please feel free to share. I would love to see if um, this has inspired you, if you've got a whole bunch of scrap yarn that you want to make use of, um, I highly recommend doing something like this. It was uh, super fun to do and very therapeutic as well. Plus, I feel really accomplished for using up a lot of my scrap yarn and leftover yarn on a project like this. Plus, I learned a new stitch, so that was also nice. Well, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and have found some inspiration to make your own scrap yarn blanket. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps with my channel and supporting my small business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.